This tutorial is going to be something that most portrait photographers face um, in terms of the fine line issues on an image. And typically on an image like this, which is provided to us by Brenda Bazan, um, I love the style of photography that she does. And one common thing that I've seen here and reflected into many environmental portraits even and the type of work she does is ensuring the delicacy of the details are preserved and if any work is being done to the images um, to ensure that there is consistency and we're not really altering the texture too much. And with Infinite Skin, I'm able to do that. And I wanted to show you how and how I can take control over fine lines and under eyes um, with the panel itself. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start by making sure that clarity and smoothing is set to the left. And if you haven't seen the full panel of Infinite Skin, please check out infinite-tools.com where it goes over the entire panel itself and what all these settings and functions do. But through this tutorial, you're going to pick up some things anyway. So I'm going to hit Create. It's going to um, generate the group and the layer mask because I have my mask button set to on and my highlight protection is on as well. And now that the group itself is set, I'm going to use my brush tool. I have my flow set to 20%. Um, that just brings things in a little quicker than 2%, um, but it's not 100%, so it's uh, somewhere in between, at least <laughs> comparatively. And then I'll come over to the brush section here. My hardness set to 0%, and my size is 175. But that is a relation to your image, and it'll be different for every single image. Now that my brush is set to white, I am going to just go brush here for a second and set this layer up for every place that I want to have impacted and you'll already see some results popping up. If I turn this on and off, you'll see how it softens up those fine lines without removing them. And the beauty of that is it just puts a lot less attention to that area. So with that being said, now that those areas are kind of set up for me, I can decide if I want any more texture back or if I want to reduce it to a certain amount. So I can almost detexturize specific areas. And that could also include other parts like the lips. And you'll see here if I turn this group on and off, you see how it kind of fades that away. And the same thing for other parts here. And of course, you can run separate layers as well. And you don't have to do them all um, in one if you don't want to, uh, or separate groups, I should say. But it gives you a good idea that if I want to do other parts, I can selectively and keep other parts based on what areas I'm looking for. But then even cooler is aside from just that texture detail, um, I can further utilize the smoothing tab here. And what that does for me is if I want to smooth out the tones in a specific area, you can see how it kind of smooths that out for me just by using smoothing. So if you want to use um, the smoothing slider in areas where you just want to even out tones, you can totally do that. For example, over here, you have the like blotchy skin. If I wasn't doing anything else, like let me use black and cover that up. And maybe if I was only trying to remove the blotchy transitions or, you know, um, tones of the skin, I could just mask that in. And if I zoom in here, you'll see that it's kind of smoothed out those tones while keeping the clarity where I want. So that's also another really great way of using it is on different areas like arms, limbs, things like that, um, where you want to even out some of that blotchiness and those transitions so you have less work to do with dodge and burn. So it goes to show you that this uh, tool based on the setting that you use and where you want to use it can control quite a bit. For example, over here um, today, as I brushed, let me just bring back the eyes as well. Let me bring back the eyes too. So you'll see here that, you know, based on these settings, it will smooth out highlights, it will smooth out texture, but you control how much smoothing you want, which is the position or the transition between highlights to shadows. And you can also decide how much texture detail you want. So with that, you can control things like the appearance of fine lines while keeping the transition close to original. And then you can also decide if you want to you know, smooth out some of the tones here. You can decide if you feel like blotchy skin is something you want to tackle. They all have their respective settings. So smoothing being higher and clarity being higher is really good for keeping the texture detail, but even evening out the transitions in the skin that are blotchy. Um, 
an area like this where you might want to reduce the fine lines, then what I do is have something where it's like clarity is lower and then smoothing is set to the left because it's uh, defaulted like that. And then if you increase smoothing, obviously, then the smoothing gets higher. So I kept it to the left and then just reduced the clarity line so the texture de detail goes lower. So those are the two different ways to use it. And I feel like um, this is a, a good example for, for both of those accounts. Um, anyways, if you have any questions at all, and well, I should say before I go, the let's say that you know you have all these layers and you would like to compress them together or flatten them, come over to the create button and, and right click. And what that's going to do, it's going to flatten all those layers into one, and it just ensures that everything gets flattened together. Whenever you're done, that is, because you can't undo this much, much later. So when you're done, then go ahead and execute that. But otherwise, I wouldn't recommend uh, flattening until you're done. But yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to um, join our um, social groups as well as our contact email. And we'd love to see your work, especially what you do with Infinite uh, Skin. And we have our Facebook group and our Instagram. So you can tag us. You can uh, uh, reach out, join our groups, share your work there. And we'd love to have you part of the community.